What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. If you're stopping by for the first time, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos and be part of the family. So today we got another race with the GT. Yes, we are going to race this car until uh, we pretty much race everything we can while it's stock. Then we're going to start the mod. So if you guys were wondering why we're racing it while it's stock, I kind of want to see how fast this thing is when it's stock. So... That's what we're gonna do. But anyways, about to turn the car on and head out to meet my friend Paul. We're gonna race his Grand Sport, a Corvette Grand Sport, a C7 Grand Sport. So uh, I think that will be the toughest race for this car just because the car is really light and it makes really good power. So uh, comment below what you guys think the outcome would be before uh, you watch the race. Uh, do you think the GT will win? Do you think the Grand Sport will win? We're going to do a 50, 60, and 70 rolls. So, about to start the car and get going. Whoop! Back here again. All right, guys, so this is the next day. Yesterday, unfortunately, after we pumped up gas, it started raining, so we couldn't do that. But uh, it, this gives me the chance to talk about the video uh, from yesterday. Man, this sounds crazy. Um, of me and the scat pack. So I did every single roll. Um, I see a lot of comments that are saying he doesn't know how to drive, this and that. I mean, um, it's not that hard to drive, okay? And, and plus, he knows how to drive. So he did downshift. He was in the right gear for every roll. When he was in 60 row, he was in third gear. When he was in 50 row, he was in second gear. Um, when we were in 20 row, he was, I think, first or second. I'm not sure. One of those. But he did downshift for every roll. And you just hit that gas. It's an automatic. It doesn't take, uh, uh, it's not rocket science. It, it doesn't need, you don't need all that driving skills. You're not launching a car. As long as you downshift and you go and have a good reaction time, you're good. And half of the times he got the leave, he got the hit. He went before me. So, you don't need reaction time for this. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. But anyways, uh, no worries. I'm racing uh, one more Charger and one more Challenger just to prove my point that I'm done. I don't care what YouTube video you guys have seen. Um, it could be a bunch of monkeys behind those uh, behind the wheel of the Mustang that doesn't know how to drive. Because if you don't downshift, you will lose. If you're not in the right gear, you're not at the right RPMs, you will lose. So um, we were we were both... The way that it turned out is the way it was supposed to be. This car is almost a thousand pounds lighter. And it's only making 20 horsepower less than the Scat Pack. And, uh, and it has the 10 speed. So I don't see how that big boat will ever beat this off a roll. It's just not possible. The numbers don't add up. So when I see it happen, I just know there's a monkey behind the passenger of the Mustang. It's simple as that. So uh, that's why I keep my videos as 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 accurate as possible and, and and i make sure uh everything i made sure he downshifted i made sure he got the hit so you guys don't say i went first so everything went the way it was supposed to be and that's how it turned out but no worries i'm gonna do two more scat pack a charger and a challenger and then we'll see how it goes all right guys so we're here i'm gonna show you guys the car that i'm gonna race and uh it's a c7 grand sport this is gonna be the fastest car i run i'm also gonna run uh, a new gen camaro ss with full bolt-ons the only reason i'm even running it is because it's manual so hopefully i got i get a chance if it was auto uh, i wouldn't even try to even i would even have no chance with it but it's a manual we'll see how it goes. all right guys this is the grand sport i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys that it's stock And it's an auto. Let me show you guys. We got the Mustang here. That's stock. Then we got the SS. This thing is not stock. He says it has full bolt-ons. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. It's going to be a good race with that, with the C7, though. You guys, between these two, who do you think is going to win? Full bolt-ons, stock. And then between these two, they're both stock. Let me know. This is gonna be a good race right here. We're about to go get we're about to go out and get it done. Let's go. Alright 
right, guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm taking the lead on him. Then out of nowhere, traction control light comes on. The car just bogs. It, it doesn't go anymore. I'm putting my foot to the gas, and it's not going anywhere. And then it goes, and by the time that, he's already three cars ahead of me. I don't even know what's wrong with this car. I'm doing, I'm doing it in drag strip mode. I'm going to try to do it in sport mode. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Alright guys, so what he was saying is it's gear hunting and I basically need to tune it because it's just like, I don't know, once I hit a certain speed it's just bogging and it's not going. I even take my foot off the gas, put my foot on the, put, put my foot on the gas again and it's not going anywhere. I don't even know what's wrong with, like I don't even know why this is happening, but uh, I'm gonna just do, I'm just gonna race it in a, a Sport Plus. I'm, I'm not gonna race anymore in Dragster because this didn't happen when I raced the Scat Pack or the Hellcat. So I don't know what's going on, but anyways, we're about to get the run with the Grand Sport. Um, that was a full bolt on SS. I think I could have done a lot better, but the car just stalled and did, did nothing. It just stopped. So I'm kind of mad about that. Now, now the Grand Sport versus the Mustang. Who do you guys think is gonna win? guys so the closest I was is a 60 roll and he had me by three quarters of a car a car that's how much he had me and then we had to break so the Grand Sport has 460 horsepower so about the same horsepower as me and it weighs about 400 pounds lighter it's 3300 pounds I'm at like 37 ish 38 ish right around there so that weight different definitely makes plus the aerodynamics I mean it looks like a looks like a jet so of course it's a highway king but those were some good rolls the the best roll for me was a 60 roll we're gonna try that again uh we're gonna get some more rolls in and see how it goes but man that thing is fast this is not you can't catch this you can it's impossible to catch it once it leaves on you it, it's impossible but the 60 I'm, you guys will see i stuck with him one car behind and that was my best all right we're about to go get some more all right guys so we're gonna do another 50 60 and 70 i'm gonna try doing them in a different gear uh, for all those, I was kind of basically in third gear, so I'm going to try a different gear, higher RPMs, and see how it goes. guys so every race has been literally the same except the 60 roll the 60 roll is a lot better so all those races um i've been doing it in sport plus uh we're gonna do one more 60 roll just just to see if if, if the drag strip mode is a lot better because i've seen a lot of people that commented and they said it's better so we're gonna do that but i hope it doesn't happen what happened with the ss when i raced the ss it just bogged out and the ss just started walking away and my car wasn't going anywhere so we're gonna try one more 60 roll in dragster mode and see how it goes hopefully um it'll be a you know closer race but we'll see what happens let's put this bad boy in dra I you. I I was rocks you're good I into that. I into that. Mode. i've been seeing a lot of these taillights today 
Alright guys, so we've tried every roll. There's no chance for my little GT to win a single race. The closest we've got is one car, and that was a 60 roll. But other than that, the Grand Sport beats me every single time, and I have no chance with it. I mean, this thing is pretty fast. They make about the same exact horsepower, except the Grand Sport is a lot lighter. It's about 400 pounds lighter. As you guys can see, weight has a big, like, it has a lot to do with the race. So, um, like I said, I don't care. I, I post wins, losses, ties, whatever. Like I said, like this, the whole point of this car is it's about the channel and I like to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that race. Once I'm done racing all these stock cars, I'm going to put the car, tune it up, put it on 85 and everything. Then we're going to rerun all the cars we lost to and see if it made a difference in, in uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can beat this car. If I still don't beat it with the 85, then we got a problem. But after I just got gapped, um, I think I need to step in something faster. <laughs> I'm going to get in the Hellcat and make a video for you guys tomorrow with that car. Do some pulls. Have some fun with it. Just because I've been in this slow car for too long and uh, I'm anxious to be in something fast. So I'm going to just grab the Hellcat for tomorrow's video. Let me know uh, what kind of videos you guys want to see with the Hellcat. Comment them in the comments below. Shout out to Paul. Shout out uh, for him even coming out getting this race done. We've been doing this for like two hours So anyways, if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button if you're new to this channel Make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn your notification bell on to be part of the family And I will see you guys next video. Love you guys. Thank you for your support We're about to hit 25k so make sure you're here because we are growing faster than ever. Love you guys stay positive chase your dreams. Peace